Hello, and welcome to Grant's Tech World. In this video, I'd like to um, show you how to install some drivers for your AMD GPU on Linux. Now, personally, I struggled with this when I started with Linux because I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3400G and an AMD RX 470 as my GPU. And the issue is that when you look online, there's not really a great answer for how to install these drivers. They give you you know, links to go to and instructions on how to install, but nothing's really all that clear. There's no just like, hey, do this. And so I wanted to show you that today. So the first thing you want to know is that this driver stack or whatever you want to call it is called AMG GPU. All one word and spelled how you think. So if we go up here to Firefox and we just type in AMD GPU, you'll see we come up with a wiki first and then the second link is the AMD driver for Linux on the official AMD website. So we go to this and you might think, oh, this is where we are, right? We're driver for Linux and it's AMD GPU. The issue with this is not only is this the pro driver, but the copyright date on here is 2016. And so this is not the correct driver. What you actually want to do is go to the official AMD website. So you go to amd.com slash whatever your language is, and you go to drivers and support. Once you're here, you'll see, uh, you know, you got your Windows 10 11 drivers, but also Linux drivers. There we go. So today I'm going to be showing you on uh, Linux Mint 20.2 or 20.4, whatever it is. Um, and the base for this operating system is Ubuntu 20.04 long-term support. This also works um, with, as you can see, Realm CentOS and SLED and SLES, whatever those are. But basically, if you have an RPM-based package manager, um, you'll use, um, I think, the Rail and CentOS option. So to find the specific drivers for your card, in the event that it would be out of support by AMD, you'll go down here and then you'll select the um, you'll select the type of graphic or graphics card or whatever. So you have graphics, professional graphics, server, processors with graphics. Um, we're just going to stick with graphics. This is just your all your graphics cards. We'll scroll down to the 400 series and then we'll go back there and then the RX 470. You'll click Submit. Now this won't actually submit anything anywhere, it'll just take you to a different link. So you'll click Submit, and here we are. This is the drivers and the software. As you can see, you have all your Windows versions, and then Rail, Ubuntu, and Slut's Less. So we're actually gonna be using Ubuntu, but as I said, if you use RPM-based package managers, you'll probably click this link here. So I'll just click Ubuntu, and then you're given two options. This is the one I'll be using for my specific Linux Mint version because it's based on Ubuntu 20.04. If you're using 22.04, you'll click this link. Um, so you'll just click download, and then save this to a place where um, you're, it's gonna be easily accessible. I would suggest just save it to your home folder. That's the easiest thing to do. Um, as you can see, I already have it in here, but if you wanna save it somewhere else, go right ahead. So then I'll click cancel because I already have it downloaded, and we'll show you the terminal side of things. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to open up your terminal and then also click this link here. This is the installation instructions. So um, obviously this looks pretty weird. I don't like it, but the basics of it is the preamble and overview are for technical details. You want to skip right to prerequisites. And so this is where you'll actually see how to install the installer package. That might sound weird, um, but basically the package you download is kind of like a mini app and it will allow you through the terminal to actually install the drivers you need. Um, so we'll go down here and we'll follow these instructions. So you'll want to go to the folder that it's based in. So if you install in your downloads folder, let's say you'll just go here right click and say open in terminal. But I just installed it in my home folder so I can just use the normal terminal as it is. Then what you want to do, as you can see with these instructions, you want to type sudo apt get install. So we'll type that into the terminal, sudo apt get install, and then a dot slash. And then this right here, you'll want to actually put in the file name of the uh, package. So we'll click here, press F2 to see the entire thing. We'll highlight it all and copy it and then we'll go right back over to our terminal, right click and click paste. And so then we'll get sudo apt get install dot amd gpu, all of that stuff dot deb. And then we'll click enter, enter your password and it will install the package. I already have it installed so it kind of like failed out. Um, but basically if you didn't have it installed, it will install those packages. And then we'll just do sudo apt get update to um, update your packages. And now we're done. 
And so now it's actually time to get to installing. So we'll go to using the ANB GPU installed script. Um, so this is more guff right here, the script types and purpose, it's all just kind of technical details. What we want to go down to is invoking the AMD GPU install script. So this is the kind of, I guess you could say, header we'll be using. This will actually get the installer package we used earlier um, to run. So we'll type that in first, but I'll, I'll explain the rest just now. So next you want to go to OpenCL implementation. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You see, it specifies Vega 10 or newer hardware. Um, I actually recorded two takes of this video. In the original take, I thought, okay, they had the Vega 64 graphics card out. The Vega 10's gotta be super old, and my RX 470 is newer than that. Fun fact, it's not. The Vega 10 is a mobile architecture um, that was released in 2017, and thus the RX 470 is older than that. To prove this to you, we're gonna go to this other tab, and as you can see, the RX Vega 10 is based on the fifth generation of CGN architecture, while on the official um, AMD website, we can see that the RX 470 is based on the fourth gen CGN architecture, and so thus it is older, and so, when we go back to the other Firefox tab, you'll see that if it's uh, newer than Vega 10 or Vega 10, well, we use this um, parameter, but if it's not, we'll use legacy. If you're unsure and you can't find information, there's an option for that. So obviously, newer will use this parameter, older, like my GPU, will use this parameter, but if you're not sure and you can't find information, um, you can also use this parameter. This will install both OpenCL implementations. It will take up probably more space, and if you can find a definite answer for your GPU, don't use this. Basically, if it's fourth generation CGN architecture or an even older architecture, um, then use legacy, but if it's fifth gen CGN or newer, um, use ROCR. So we're gonna use legacy, and then we also have Vulkan implementations. So this isn't based on um, age. This is purely based on whether you want open source or not. So the AMD VLK is the open source Vulkan. So this is what's more in line with the motto and the you know ego of Linux. The pro version is proprietary and it is the one from uh, AMD that is not open source. So this will require an end user license agreement acceptance and whatever. So I'm going to install just the open source version, so I'll use Vulkan and DVLK in that parameter. So now I'll actually look at this in the terminal. So if we open back our terminal, I'm going to clear this terminal. So here's what we're going to do. First, you'll type amd gpu dash install, if I can spell. And then you'll go slash slash open cl. And as we talked about before, your options are ROCR or legacy. I'm going to use legacy because mine is older than 5th gen CGN. And then we'll go dash dash Vulkan equals. And then um, I'm going to use the open source one, but you would either do AMD VLK if you want the open source, or Pro if you don't want the open source. We're going to go AMD VLK. And so then um, we have both our parameters set and we're using the AMD GPU install script. This is all you have to do, press enter and we'll have you accept the end user license agreement. Exit. Oh, oh, you have to press exit, and then you can press yes or no, I would agree, whatever, that's fine. Okay, sorry about that. And then it will start to work its magic. One thing to note, if this truck wouldn't come by at this exact minute, I guess I can't get mad at the sanitary workers. Anyway, um, it'll ask you yes or no, do you want to continue? We're gonna press yes. Please note that this will use about a gig and a half of space. And press yes, and then it will start to do its thing. One thing to note is that this will take a little bit of time because it actually has to build um, the uh, program for your specific system. So that should be noted. Um, but once this exits, uh, then I'll just show you what it looks like at the end, and um, that will be it. So. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you had any issues because hopefully I can answer them. Um, and I hope this helped you to get started with your Ubuntu-based or Debian-based Linux distribution. This has been Grant's Tech World. I hope you enjoy.